519 Sports Online is proud to present the Sutherland Cup Round Robin in partnership with No Frills and the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League. Drop by your local No Frills location for freshness guaranteed and prices that won't be beat. Also check out nofrills.ca for the latest flyers and deals being offered. And good evening everybody, Saturday night at the Leisureplex in Fort Erie. It's the Sutherland Cup Round Robin continuing tonight. Fort Erie looking to bounce back after a loss yesterday in Listowel. St. Mary's, their first game of this Sutherland Cup round robin. It's all coming up next on 519 Sports. Plays it for Cornfield around the far side. He'll shovel it off the far boards and can't clear the zone. Here's Kyle Adamo off the turnover. Has Hall, high slot, Hall shot. Have it to save. Big hit down to the near side corner. That gets the fans to their feet as it's played to the far side. Owen Penny and Georgie Trops have now. Is that one up top? Here's a shot. What a block by Cressman as he got back in time to get in front of it. Has it on the near side wall. He'll work it down below the goal line as he's taken down to the ice. Lincolns here with good pressure in the 40 zone. There's a shot along the ice. Tip just wide. Burns gets back on the far side and he shuts it off as he gets a whistle and a scrumble into uh, down below the goal line. Able to win that back on McQueen Spence. Masterson has Mizzy up into the zone. Zach Mizzy to the backhand. Save is made by Abbott, he kicked it out. As Cressman pinches in on the far side. Muntu trying to get out of that hit. He's taken to the ice, bouncing puck gathered. Up top, Tonelli fires up high. Abbott to save and he hangs on. DeFrancesco. He's tied up down low. Penny works it. Centering pass up top. Oh, Abbott. Outstanding from the Lincoln Netminer. Barkley wires it around on the far boards. RJ Schmidt tipped on goal. That one almost found its way through. Adamo plays it off the boards. Cornfield on the far side. He lost it. Here's Blake Hall. Two on one. Hall. Beamish. Oh, Abbott. Wow, what a save from the Lincoln Netminder as he robs Liam Beamish. Bogart, Montesi, one-timer. McQueen Spence scores! Chase McQueen Spence has another one for St. Mary's. His 14th of the postseason and the Lincoln strike first in Fort Erie. It's 1-0 St. Mary's. Lincolns able to hold it in his zone back to the point. Here's a shot through traffic, tipped on goal. Oh, Charlie Burns, two massive saves. Another shot goes high. How did he get that second one? I have no idea, but we stay 1-0. And it's brought out by the Lincolns. Cornfield falls over. Here's Coley, mid-change, two on one. Coley, score! the laser plex bumping on a Saturday night. Hunter Coley has his second of this round robin and we are tied in one late in the second period. Bouncing puck McQueen Spence lost it. It'll be played up on the far side and here's Shaq Amuntu. Hits Tanelli. He's got the defense. Tanelli scores! No, they're going to wave it off. They're gonna wave it off as Sam Tonelli. They're gonna say that net came dislodged before the puck entered the net. And this is a massive call in this hockey game. So they are gonna talk it over and they do stick with the call. It is no goal and Nick Passero is not happy. Played down low into the corner. There's a tight angle shot, Abbott, and that net come off again. And a scrum's gonna ensue after the whistle as Spagnolo gets tied up down low. Everybody comes in and grabs a partner. And we got a penalty coming. It's gonna be our first call of this hockey game. And we'll get things sorted out down below the goal line. Mets get a new deep pair out there as Masterson and Beamish hop over the boards. Centering pass. Beamish, oh, Abbott made the save. Loose puck, there's another shot right on. Wow, two big saves by Brandon Abbott. 
and we stay tied at one. Beamish missed it down in the corner. Lincolns will pick it up at center. Here they come shorthanded, two on one, developing Lee for Spagnolo out front. Oh, that puck! Burns got a piece and hopped over top of the net. Off the crossbar and just high and it stays out. Up top, Masterson. Fans want a shot. Beamish skating in, down low, extra pass, side of the goal. Adamo missed it, back out front. There's another shot set high. Chaos out front of the St. Mary's goal. Fort Erie can't find the twine. 15 seconds to go. Beamish up top, Masterson. He'll flip it for Beamish, tired Lincoln unit out there. Flora up top, Beamish, Masterson, far side, Adamo, one-timer, it's blocked out front. End of the power play, they've killed it off. Masterson a drive, Abbott the save, loose puck side of the goal, it's still loose in behind the net. What a third period this has been in this hockey game. Chances on both sides, back and forth action. Owen Penny in, to the middle, shot off the post! Owen Penny with a laser hits iron. Here's Spagnolo in, Burns will glove it down and let it go. Adamo up top, Tonelli the anchorman. Beamish holds it in. Down low, Hall misplayed it. Flora gets it back up top. Tonelli, he'll flip it over for Beamish. Down low, tap pass, slot, Hall, score! The Sheriff over top! But it's the vet, Blake Hall, who seals it in the extra frame. And Fort Erie is alive. Final from the Laserplex. Meteors take this one over St. Mary's. Two to one in overtime. It's huge. Uh, just love to get that one for the crowd. They were going crazy all night, so it was nice. Just floor gave me a nice pass in the slot. Just kind of got upstairs quick and went in. Definitely not surprised. I mean, I don't think anyone deserves it more than him. Uh, risky move, him coming back here this year in August in his 20-year-old year with a team that didn't have many returners. And I think just all year he's been getting rewarded for it and just a good guy on and off the ice. And to see that puck go high and hard like that was, was we felt like his parents on the bench, we were jumping up and down. Just no one deserves it more than him. So it was really exciting to watch. I think first Sutherland Cup win ever for us. So that was that's a big one. That's a big puck to get. And I mean, one of the guys in the room just asked me some of the rules, and I, I don't even know them. I, we've never been here before. So I was like, right, let me go check that one. So it just, it, it's really, it almost doesn't make sense. You look at the crowd, and I mean, got people were here lined up at noon today getting tickets, and it's just something that you never thought this town was going to do. And because and of guys like Blake Hall coming home and really, really dialing into what he wanted to do here with this program is just, it kind of just speaks magnitudes. You just got to get home, get some good rest and as much as you can, and then, PRC is gonna be buzzing tomorrow, so we gotta build on our fans, just like I'm sure they did tonight. Our four check was great tonight. Um, we were getting into some high danger areas. We gotta win a couple more puck battles, but uh, for the most part, our, our, our back pressure too on our on our, uh, our back check was really good. We were taking getting good sticks. Um, but yeah, like we played a pretty good game tonight to get to Burns a bit more, get some more traffic on him, and uh, hopefully he's bury a couple more goals tomorrow. It's, yeah, it's been 30 years, and it's gonna be packed tomorrow night. Um, yeah, we got a good feeling going in. Listwell's a good team. Give those guys a lot of credit. Um, we got a quick turnaround, so yeah, we want to get home, get some get some fuel on us, and you know, ride the energy.